Hey, what's up y'all, Valric here, bringing you another No Man's Sky video. I'm gonna be showing you how to farm S-Class Freighter mods, and using this method, you always have the chance that it could be a different mod, and it will always be an S-Class. But before we dive in, remember to hit that like and subscribe button, and turn on the bell to be notified anytime I post a video. First, you're gonna need to have all your glyphs unlocked to be able to use a portal. If you don't have your glyphs unlocked, watch my other video that goes into detail on the best ways to unlock them all. I'll link it at the end of this video. If you already do have all your glyphs unlocked, make sure you're in the Euclid Galaxy, then enter this portal address. Now enter the portal. Once it loads, hop into your ship, head into space, then head to the space station. Once you land, head over to the scrap dealer and acquire coordinates to buy an emergency broadcast receiver. Also, you can go to the Space Anomaly and speak to Iteration Helios to get your free weekly emergency broadcast receiver. You only need one of these to do this, but if you want to farm this back to back, you can buy as many as you want. The first will cost you 5 million units, the second will increase to 10 million, the third will be 20 million, then it caps out at 30 million units. This amount does reset on a daily basis, so it all just depends on what you're willing to spend your units on. Once you have your emergency broadcast receiver, you're going to need to activate it by selecting the Tune Signal option. Now you can head into space and activate your pulse drive. This will make the emergency broadcast receiver begin searching for the derelict freighter. Once it detects the signal, you can deactivate your pulse drive and land on the freighter. Then, head in. Now, it's up to you whether or not you want to loot the entire freighter. In order to get the S-Class mod, you don't need to loot anything on the freighter. You can run straight to the end if that's your goal. Thankfully, this freighter is small and running from beginning to end will only take about one or two minutes. If you see any doorways that have the pinkish purple sign above the door, that means it's a spare room that doesn't lead to the last floor of the derelict freighter. So if you want to explore everything, you can explore these rooms. But if just getting to the end is your goal, then you're going to want to avoid these. And now here we are at the last computer. Once you are here, click on Fabricate Technology Upgrade. And then the S-Class mod will be added to your inventory. To get back to the top, just activate the teleporter and hop in. If you're wanting to repeat this process back to back, after you launch from the derelict freighter, if you don't already have another beacon, you can go grab another one and then just tune the signal and rinse and repeat the process. It's that simple. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really hope this video helped you out. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button and y'all have a good one.